Hello and welcome to a new episode of Journey to the Chateau here from Saint-Baudel in France and it feels really good to be back to full health and back into renovation and restoration mode. Bonjour à tous, bienvenue à Journey to the Chateau de Cologne. Und nun zu unseren deutschsprachigen Freunden. Es ist hervorragend hier in um, Saint-Baudel, Chateau de Cologne, wunderbares Wetter und wir sind gesund und haben, sind voll am Renovieren und Restaurieren. Es <lacht> ist schön. Right, so we're uh, again working in our uh, guest room, yep. our bed and breakfast room here at the Chateau, and uh, we're making advances yes. with the new entrance. If you don't know, we actually are creating a new entrance uh, in order to include the water closet. Uh, if you don't know what we're talking about, then <laughs> please, I don't want to explain it now, please just go look at previous episodes, right? Yes. Okay. And so the, Patrick did uh, a lot of work last several days, doing a lot of sanding, and oh, because uh, I don't, you know, I'm not sure that we actually have images, but uh, the bedroom does ha did have interior shutters, or yes. does have interior shutters. So again, that's one more thing. And they were really in bad shape. They were. I mean, right. blistering wood, uh, 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 paint and mm. cracks and all that. So I'm in the process of restoring them. Actually, the restoration part of it is done. Now it mm. needs to be painted. Right, right. And then so it's four shutters, each at least three coats. That is 24 coats, basically. Mm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and so uh, I have been working on the uh, entrance. The door has uh, trim and baseboard skirting board that needs to be created to go around the door. And so that's what I was working on. Well, and it needs to look exactly like the, the rest of the, the, rest of the shutter. shutter. So, uh, tall order. Yeah. So, have a look. Yes.
Hi there, so I am um, working on the 18th century paneling that goes into the interior of the new entrance bed and breakfast room. Um, these are already sanded. What I'm going to do now is I'm just sanding over the wood filler I put in because there were areas of this where it just looked... Uh, with, even with new paint, it would not have looked nice. So we don't want them to look brand new, but we don't want them to look like they have a kind of a disease. So tomorrow then, after I'm doing this, uh, tomorrow I can then start uh, priming the door, both sides, because I've done that already, uh, the two panel pieces for the interior, and the two uh, uh, sets of interior shutters for the room itself. So exciting, because that means by the weekend we have yet another big step ahead, um, uh, putting stuff back, well, putting stuff in. Um, so that is really exciting. Let me start that now. Uh, hello there, it is gorgeous outside. Uh, we have a really warm, sunny spring day, although it's in the middle of winter. It's fantastic. And the windows are open because it's warmer outside than some rooms in the chateau. And I am really excited because while Stuart is working on another project uh, for the bed and breakfast room, I am priming all the wood that for the last week I have repaired and sanded and wood filled and sanded and then sanded some more and repaired some more. <laughs> and so two sets, meaning four um, window shutters, which are original to the chateau, the two uh, interior pieces for the paneling um, and the door, but Stuart might do the door in any case. So that's what I'm doing right now. It's really exciting because that means um, <clears throat> In a few days, uh, we have the three to four layers uh, or coats of paint on everything and can get them all in place in situ and it's really exciting. Love it. Have a look.
So by the way, the entire floor here is covered with cloth, so dripping won't make, uh, just accidental dripping down here, won't do anything, and uh, since it happens, rather safe than sorry. So these are our interior shutters, which we have in the two bedrooms still, the original bedrooms. Um, they are unfortunately gone from all the other rooms downstairs and upstairs here. So it's a bit of a shame, because they are remarkable, and they keep the room really, really dark if you want to. And in the winter they actually help with insulation as well. In any case, uh, they were in pretty bad shape. There was a lot of prep work that went into these uh, with multiple layers of wood filling, sanding, and um, now they're at the point that Let's so So, I'll prime them now, and it's really ex exciting for me. Anyways, I'm gonna crack on now.
Now, besides having to do the inside of the new entrance and still taking the toilet out and <laughs> right, redoing have, the walls, taking a ceiling out. We have all the work that's actually <laughs> in the water closet itself that we need to do, yes. Um, I also still have to, the, all the, the backsides of the interior shutters to prime. Um, so I, that's another about two, three days, I think, that I will just spend in priming and then painting. Uh, but it's, I mean, it, it's going quite fast right now and it's lovely. Right, right. It's, it's good progress. Yep. It's, it seems like it's slow, but we're making good progress. Yeah, it's, uh, lot done in a short period of time is very happy here. And, uh, we also have to do a run to, uh, the home improvement store to get, uh, drywall and insulation for, to rebuild the wall in the jeet. Right. In, just in the new position. Um, and we're just doing it at night or something, right? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> so just a, a quick update on something you haven't heard about in a while is that we recently did have uh, workers come by. We had the, the poles, remember, that were put up Ooh. outside the chateau. And the poles were for the fiber optic. Yes. That we're supposed to be getting so we can have high speed internet here in the chateau. That we were supposed to get last <laughs> year. Yes, because apparently <laughs> everybody else here hell has it except for the people right here in our immediate area. Yeah, it, it's funny though. I mean, Claire and John, they went right by the house putting everything up, and that was uh, last year, mm. early part of last year, and they're still waiting. Right. <laughs> so the good news is, is that somebody actually was here. There was a crew that was here uh, recently, and they finally moved the pole. Yeah, we didn't think they would. We didn't. We, we actually were, were leaving for the day, and we saw that they had just arrived, and they looked like they were starting to hook things up or something to the poles, and that pole hadn't been moved yet. And so I told Patrick, it's like, they're going to hook up that pole <laughs> that's supposed to be moved. But when we came back, they had moved the pole. Yep. So no more ugly pole right in front of our side entrance. So right. that's nice. Right. Uh, now, it's still not hooked up. <laughs> so <laughs> there's that. Ah, but yeah, it, it's, uh, it's, it's progress. And, and thank you, Fabian. That's our mayor here. She uh, organized it that, uh, that it even is moved. So we have to thank her for that. Absolutely, yes. So a couple of new things behind us you probably have noticed. Oh, um, yes. Yes, maybe you want to talk about what these are. <laughs> <laughs> Since this was, this was a Patrick purchase because Patrick loves this. Ah, uh, yes. Well, when I was, oh, good Lord, small child, there was the Tutankhamun exhibition in Hamburg in Germany, and I was completely fascinated by it. And I always wanted to have a, uh, an Egyptian statue or something. And this came up for auction, and it is... Uh, uh, it would have the third, and it, uh, it is a reproduction that the, the, the head is in the Louvre in Paris, and so they, they make um, identical reproductions of some of the works they have, and they're extremely expensive. I think this head is about 500 euros, and this came up for auction, and it was dirt cheap, so I had to buy it. I absolutely love it. And we also have these two very old Jean. Uh, they are no lamps, but they used to be oil lamps. So uh, they're really and those shades. I'm not going to stay on it. So no, don't it, need, no need to no. comment on how <laughs> <laughs> idiotic. No, they no are. we got the lamps, and the, the lamps are beautiful. We, we absolutely love them. Yes, but they did not come with shades. No, so we're going to be searching for shades that are or appropriate for them, trying or, to or make, make them, them, which which we could do as well. In all its so, time. in the meantime, we just happen to have <laughs> these shades, and so we just put them on them. So. so um, it looks better than just a bulb. bare bulb, right? <laughs> but yeah, that was fantastic. It was, it was. So that's it for this episode. Yes. Uh, if you like, please give us a thumbs up. Or, uh, and not or, then subscribe. <laughs> Both. <laughs> oh, good Lord. And now you totally threw me with Imhotep the third. <laughs> uh, give us a thumbs up, like, recommend us to your friends and family and subscribe. That means a lot to us. And please don't hesitate to comment because we, we love to read all the comments and we try to respond to as many as we can. Right. And if you want to support the renovation of the Chateau, you can join us on Patreon. Or buy us a coffee. And we will see you on Wednesday. Oh, yes. Au revoir. I hope you see. Bye. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. 
Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you would like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.